hello viewers this is a photography once again welcome to this new video where i'm going to show you a live data entry project example and i have received the instruction and the project details few minutes ago and i have decided to make this video to help you all to uh, give you idea about how clients actually provide us instructions and the project files okay uh, for the data entry based uh, works okay and I'm going to show you how actually we practically work on them all right so here I have received this word document from my client and I'm going to open this one and here is the details as you can see okay so she has added some images as well along with the written instruction and let's read these instructions so here we are going to use this spreadsheet this is a google spreadsheet link uh, this spreadsheet is being used as an alternative of excel spreadsheet okay so i'm going to open this spreadsheet in my browser uh, i just clicked on control and just clicked on the link and it's open opened here okay on my browser let's move back here and let me know if you can see it yes we're seeing it and now after you access the sheet look at the column b titled restaurant name and column j for the address okay so here is restaurant name column b and on j we have got address information all right so we have found this information as per her direction or instruction and then go to google.com and search for the restaurant name and address so we are going to google.com I'm actually uh, reading these instructions and going to implement them live for your better understanding okay so as per her direction it's time to go to google.com and use restaurant name and address information to make a google search okay so I'm going to google uh, google.com and going to copy the restaurant name from column B I have just used control C pasting it here and then we have to put the address information from here copied and pasted it here and hit enter and let's move back here on the instruction field so from there find the website of the restaurant by clicking website in the search results so here as per her image instruction we are seeing it is matching with this search result so we can click here on website or we can click here on this button as well on the website link so let me show you the instruction here or uh, so here from there find the website of the restaurant by clicking website this one in the search result or select the first search result if it is the website of the restaurant so here is the first search result okay she is mentioning this one so the instructions are clear so now let's just verify if it is the right business so i am just matching the business name manhattan beach post so manhattan beach post and let's match the address information as well 1142 1142 manhattan avenue okay so perfectly matching so i'm going to click on website to open this link and let's move back to see what else we have got here so after that go to hunter.io slash search so i'm going to copy this link copy and moving back to my browser pasting it here and hitting enter so now in hunter.io you have to sign up with an account and then you have to uh, enter your login details or sign in details to sign in okay so i have already got an account here so i'm going to sign in with this one and then here we go hunter.io slash search let's match it up so hunter.io slash search we're on the right page and now select search and put the website into the domain search so we have to we have just found the website address or website domain name and there uh, she is instructing me to put the this domain here on this domain search field okay so i'm going to copy this domain control c or by copy and paste it here 
click on this search button and here we go we have got two emails let's see what she is instructing here so we have used this part search domain search i have just put it the uh, domain name here okay and then we have found this part okay after that record the emails that show up in column e of the google sheet so she's instructing us to record these emails so actually collect these emails into our spreadsheets column e field okay so let's go back here into the instructions field so if there are more than one email please list them in column e and separate them with a comma so here we are seeing actually more than one email so we have to use a comma to separate the emails in column e okay and then do you have any questions no i don't have any more questions because the instructions are crystal clear uh, along with the image and i'd love to have this done by monday july 29th so she just uh, let me know the deadline time as well so this was the instructions and now i'm going to show you uh, how i am actually going to work on this project so uh, we have moved forward uh, so far here so i'm going to copy this email as per her direction and then pasting it here on column e so let's paste it oops okay and then we have to put a comma as we have got another email here so copy and then paste it here so we have done entry for our first company our first uh, column and row okay actually row and then we are going to the next row which is this one salt creek delay and this is the address so i'm going to copy this name to show you the process again okay so i'm going to copy the name pasting it here and then i'm going to use the address from here from the column j and pasting it here okay hitting enter to make a google search let's cross it out and let let's keep this one uh, as it is because we're we're go going to be needed off this website again all right so here salt creek gillet 2015 park so salt creek gillet the business naming matching and the address 2015 park pl so 2015 east park pl so this is the address also matching so this is the accurate website so i'm going to click on website and copying the uh, copying the domain name or website address and as per her instruction i am going to this website 100.io slash search and then we are going to put the website here again and then click on the search bar or search button and then we have to copy all the emails from this page okay while well, there are uh, many emails as i can see so i'm going to copy these emails so i have just copied one and then as per her instruction we have to put them in uh, e field or sorry e column by using comma so i have just put it the email and then put it the comma so i'm going to copy all the image sorry emails in fast forward mode All right, so I have collected all the emails from here from this domain. Okay, so this was the process of this data entry project. Okay, so I hope you have found a good idea about how a client provides us instructions uh, to do data entry jobs and how we actually perform the tasks. Okay, as by as per or as per their instructions or by following their instructions. Okay so i hope this video was helpful to you and if you have found this video helpful please like this video and share this video to help others as well and please don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more helpful videos like this one and i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching